has failed to answer that question very well. Are you trying to say that the FDC is due for capture equally? So I'm I'm just I'm coming, but I'm talking. I'm, I want you to understand the problem mm. that FDC set out. It's 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 the cause of FDC. The the task we gave ourselves was to liberate power from Mr. Museveni's hands or the hands of his family because it's family rule. Yeah. We want to liberate power from his family. But his family controls all wealth, controls all forces, controls all institutions. If we have to get power from their hands, then we must develop a strategy that is capable of achieving that. And that is where the problems we have within FDC have been arising. The strategy mm. of how to achieve our goal. For me, from 2011, I have been having a significant difference from many of our leaders on how we achieve that. How do we achieve this? Can we achieve it only by preparing ourselves to win an election that Mr. Museveni organizes, which requires that money, which requires the military, which requires, is that how we shall liberate the power that we want to liberate? That is something we must discuss very uh, candidly. And we have been discussing it within FDC. In fact, those of you who are following the contradictions between what I am saying mm. and what General Muntu was saying, that was the contradiction. How do we free our country? Contradiction over strategy. Over strategy. How do we free our country from this person who controls wealth, who controls forces, who controls institutions. Why has the FDC failed to answer this question? So that is, that is the question. Why have we failed? And I think part of the reason we have failed is because the leaders who should be answering that question develop uh, interests that don't allow them to answer that question effectively for the main party members. Mm. In other words, there is a misrepresentation, I think, at the leadership. Because, you see, if somebody has already gone, for example, to parliament and has uh, access to more resources and possibly has access to also connections with those who have forces, who have uh, controls. Yes. That person will see it possible to maintain his or her position. Regardless of whether our cause of liberating the power controlled by the one person at the top succeeds or doesn't. So to make it easy to understand, people who are FDC leaders mm. but serve within government positions quite often become comfortable there. Wow. Because they are, they, 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 they are uh, having the kind of uh, things you say that they, they, they have fallen into things. Yeah, in thing, yes, <laughs> <laughs> Once they have fallen into things, mm. it, it becomes unattractive to fall out of things and 
fold your hand, your shirt to fight the tough fight that we need to fight to liberate ourselves from that control. And, and I think that's where, frankly, as a, somebody who has been, uh, you know, uh, engaging with our leaders, I think that's where the challenge falls. It is an elite uh, failure, the failure of us. I also am part of that failure, I must say. Mm. It's a failure of us, the elites, remaining focused on the interest of the person at the bottom to free what we set out to free to get to them. In other words, the person at the top who controls all these things gains influence in those who are supposed to remove them. And that's why we have this contradiction now in, in FDC. That's precisely why we have the contradiction now. Thank you very and, much. And maybe I, I, I can now turn to how the current contradiction itself Before developed. you get there, we'll get an interpretation from uh, Honorable Umu and also that I now understand what you're saying.